Mr. Alden. Great, thank you, Minister. Um, as you know, last year our committee uh, prepared and uh, published a report on heritage conservation. And so in that report, we had a specific recommendation, it was number 10, that dealt with the Parks Canada National Cost Sharing Program. And um, the re recommendation, if you don't remember it, it said that the federal government should restore the funding level for the cost share program for heritage places to a minimum of $10 million per year. This program, which I had familiarity with, provided excellent support to owners and lessees of national historic sites and heritage facilities not owned by the federal government. The, um, the, uh, we heard from witnesses that talked about how oversubscribed this program is. And um, our, in the previous budgets, our government had increased the budget from $1 million to $10 million. It has reverted down to $1 million in this budget. And um, so I'd like to know your thoughts on what role the federal government, you see it playing in the support and preservation of all of Canada's heritage um, moving forward. And, um, and if you could further comment on what that role is and how it's supported by the budget that we have before us today. Uh, well, thank you very much, and I, I really want to thank you for all your work uh, advocating and actually practically uh, working uh, to protect uh, National Historic Sites and Heritage Facilities. I'm very committed to protecting built heritage in Canada. We've made substantial investments in our National Historic Sites. Um, with respect to cost sharing for non-federally owned heritage sites, the grant program has moved back to its previous A-based funding level in this fiscal year, but I'm certainly open to considering the committee's recommendation to move this grant to a permanent $10 million a year level going ahead. Okay, great, thank you.